Brain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenn of Brain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. In this episode of Brain Access Solutions, I'm going to show you how to manually calculate the solution for finding out the exact day of the week for any given date or for your birthday. Actually, it's easier to find that out by just asking Google or just by checking through the date setting of your phone or your PC. And there are probably lots of apps available out there that can do that for you. But wouldn't it be nice if you can do that on your own? Like how did we know that it was a Sunday on 11th of November 1984? There is an existing algorithm created by Christian Zeller, a German mathematician in the late 19th century, and it's called the Zeller's Congruence Formula. In this formula, we are looking for the value of letter H, which is the day of the week. We'll replace the other letters in the formula with the information from the given date. So the letter Q is the day of the month, M is the number of the month, the letter K is for the year of the month, and the letter J is for the zero-based century. One of the rules in this formula is that the letter M or the number corresponding to the month is a bit tricky. We start the counting with the number 3 for March, 4 for April, 12 for December, and up to February, where January is 13 while February is 14. If the given months are January or February 1984, then we will use 13 and 14 for the given months, and we deduct one year from the given year, so the year 1984 will become 1983. The letter Q is for the day of the date. So in this case, Q will be 11. The letter K stands for the year of the century. And to get that, we'll need to calculate the mod or MOD of 1984 to manually get the result. Divide 1984 by 100 and get the integer part of the result. In this case, 19. Multiply it by 100 to get 1,900. Subtract 1,900 from 1984 and we'll have 84. The letter J stands for the zero-based century or is just dividing the year 1984 by 100. Just get the integer part of the result and leave behind the decimal parts. You'll get the value for the letter J which is 19. Now that we have the given values for our variables Q, M, K, and J, we can now proceed with substituting the letters in the formula with the values shown. With all the values in place, let's proceed with calculating each part separately, as shown in the board. Calculate the result for the groupings first. There are three groups in the formula that must be solved first. I numbered them from 1 to 3. After getting the totals for each group, sum this value shown in the chalkboard. That should be h is equal to 11 plus 31 plus 84 plus 21 plus 4 minus 38. That 38 is derived from 2 times 19. For the final computation, get the mode of 1, 1, 3, and 7. To do that manually, divide 113 by 7 and get the integer part, which is 16. Multiply that by 7 to get 112. Deduct 112 from 113 and you'll get the final answer, which is the number 1. Find the number 1 from the list shown on the chalkboard and you'll see the corresponding day of the week for November 11, 1984. And that will be Sunday. Please note that this formula is for Gregorian calendar only. For Julian calendar, there's another formula for that, which I might be tackling again in the near future. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something from this. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments behind for me to read later. Have a nice day everyone. Goodbye.